Welcome back to Divining Long Pole uh, Polynomials. This is going to be a quick class. Um, the key is this. If you remember the old way, we had a very straight up trinomial divided by something that was typically something that we could factor as well, or we could use a rule that would quickly give us an answer. In this case, if you looked at the dividend and the divisor, we could reduce those and then arrive at an answer. So for example, x squared plus 4x minus 5. Well, that's a 1. So all we have to do is find what two numbers multiply gives us negative 5. That when added together gives us a 4. And we can find out, well, negative 1 and 5. Negative 1 times 5 is negative 5. Negative 1 plus 5, well, that's going to give us a, po a positive 4. Or 5 minus 1, which gives us a positive 4. And we simply write that as x minus 1 and x plus 5. Then if you notice, we had a rule here. Hey, if this was a perfect square and this was a perfect square and you were subtracting them, then you could put that in the form of a plus b and a minus b. In other words, x plus 5 and x minus 5. Then you inspect it. Oh, this term can reduce to 1 because this return is also the same. And then you'd be left with x minus 1 over x minus 5. So factoring was very useful. However, what happens when we don't have very good terms that can be factored? Let's take a look at this one, first of all. This is a trinomial for sure. This is not, so we'll get there in a second. Notice that this trinomial is out of order. The first thing we have to do is to make sure we put this in the correct order. So we typically go by the highest degree. In other words, the variable with the highest exponent, then the next variable, followed by the next variable or simple number, simply the number. So in this case, we're going to rewrite as 15x squared plus 34x minus 16, all over 5x minus 2. Again, getting it in the right order is very important. We'll show you right here in a second. Now, remember, this is the dividend, and this is the divisor, and the answer is the quotient just so you understand those math terms. Now, the divisor in normal long division is on the outside, and the dividend is on the inside. 5x squared plus 34x minus 16. Now, the way we do this is we are really focused on that first term, making sure it is it matches this. That's where we're going to put in the as part of the quotient answer. Then later on, we're going to multiply that times the second term. We're going to do this multiple times, so you'll catch on. Now, the first thing is, I've got 5x, and I want it to match 15x squared. Well, what, what do I have to multiply 5 times to get to 15? Okay, a 3, because 5 times 3 is 15. What do I have to multiply x by to get an x squared? Oh, another x. That's all we have to do. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to multiply this. 5 times 3 is 15. x times x is x squared. Now, we're going to take that second term, and we're going to multiply it times that portion of the quotient. What's a negative 2 times a positive 3x? That is a negative 6x. Now, here's the tricky part. Your book doesn't show it, but I'm going to show you that you're actually subtracting these systems. And when you subtract them... You have a negative on the outside, which changes this sign. It's not going to change. This, this goes from a positive to a negative because we're subtracting. But a negative and a negative makes that what? A positive. So you end up adding. Let me walk through it. So 15x squared minus 15x squared gives us 0. That's what we wanted to do. But I've got a negative here and a negative here. So 34x plus 6x, because two negatives make it positive, gives me a 40x. Then we bring the negative 16 right here. We're going to do it again. Once again, we're going to take that first term, 5x. What do we got to do to make 5x into 40x? How do we match that? Well, 5 times 8 equals 40. So we're going to make that an 8. Well, we already have an x here, so we already have an x here. We don't need to do anything else. Those terms would match. How do we know? Well, let's multiply. 8 times 5x is 40x. Now remember, 8 times that last term, negative 2, equals a negative 16. Now again, your book doesn't show it, and many other places don't, but what you're really doing is you're subtracting 
these terms. That's why negative signs and positive signs are important to track. 40x minus a 40x is zero. And remember, a negative and a negative makes that what? Positive, right? So 16 plus a negative 16 plus 16, that's going to answer out the zero. So what's the answer? The answer is your quotient. And this came in clean, 3x plus 8. That is the answer. Now let's take a harder problem that's not a trinomial. It doesn't look like a quadratic trinomial. Notice that we have 2 a to the third power plus 5. Well, if we have to use long division, we have to create an a squared and an a to the first power. We've got to do that. So how we're going to do this is we're going to write this in long division format. a minus 3 is the divisor. And inside, we have to create what's missing. Well, 2 a to the third power plus 0 times a to the second power because 0 times a to the second power is 0. I mean, it's, it's there, but we don't write it. And, of course, we're going to do the same thing for an a to the first power. And then we'll add the plus 5. Don't forget that. Now, I'll, I'm going to tell you, this is, this is going to have a remainder, and we'll show you how to do that. This didn't have a remainder. This quotient was clean, as you can see. But we're still following the same procedures. So the first question we have is, okay, take the first term in that binomial of the divisor. What do we have to do to go from a to 2 a to the third power? Well, we need to multiply it by 2, and we also need to apply it, multiply it by a squared, because that's a cubic. So let's start working. 2 a squared times a is 2 a to the third. But we also have to multiply these two terms. 2a squared times a negative 3, what is that going to give us? Well, 2 times negative 3 is going to give us a negative 6, so we're going to have a negative 6a squared. Now we go ahead and stop, and we subtract. And once again, your book doesn't do this, and a lot of other places don't, but I put that subtraction sign out so that I track my signs as well as I know what I'm doing. So this becomes 2a to the third minus 2a to the third, which is 0. A negative a negative makes that a what? Positive. So 0a squared plus 6a squared gives us a 6a squared. Then we bring down the 0a, and we also bring down the positive 5. Now, you don't need to have that 0 there. I just do it so you can see the operation. Now, once again, we're going to go with a and 6a squared. What do we got to do to go from a to 6a squared? Well, we got to multiply by 6, and we need another a. Okay, let's go perform the operation. 6 times a is 6a squared. I mean, that should match. And then 6a times negative 3 is a negative 18a, because 6 times negative 3 is negative 18. Make sure that a doesn't look like a g. Now I'm going to subtract that term from the, pre the top term. 6a squared minus 6a, well, that's 0. Ah, look, I've got a negative here, and I've also got a negative here. That's going to make that 18 a positive a. Well, 0a plus 18a gives us an 18a. Bring this down, plus 5. People sometimes forget to bring this down. I can, I'll do it too, so just be, be mindful of that. Right? Always bring your terms down. Now I'm getting rid of that 0 because we know it's 0. This should be the last one. I've got a and an 18a. What do I got to do to make a an 18a? Well, I'll just multiply by 18. So we put the 18 up there. Let's finish it. 18 times a is 18a. 18 times negative 3. Ah, it's okay to pull off to the side. Okay, and that's a multiplication. Okay, 8 times negative 3 or 8 times 3 is 24. Carry the 2. 3 times 1 is 3. Plus 2 is 54. Don't forget your negative. So this becomes a negative 54. Now remember, we've got to put the parentheses in, in here because we're going to subtract. Again, your book doesn't do it, but it's, I'm just showing you that it is there. 18 minus a is 0. A negative and a negative, uh, two signs, that's going to make it positive. So this is going to be 5 plus 54, which means 59. Now look, you've got a remainder. How do you write that? Well, it's real simple. If you remember, we used to write remainders over the divisor. It was the same thing we're going to do. 
First thing we're gonna do is we take our por this portion that we've worked as the quotient, which is 2a squared plus 6a plus 18. And since that's positive, we're just gonna say plus 59 over the remainder a minus three. Is it yucky? Yeah, sure, but that's the answer. That's how you deal, use long division to deal with some of these yuckier problems that don't come in clean. All right, we'll see you on the high ground.